So what we're doing with this car is relocating the 12 volt auxiliary battery, which uh, Tesla placed underneath this headlight here in the uh, front bumper. Um, these batteries are standard low-tech lead acid absorbent glass mat batteries, AGM batteries, and they need to be replaced every two years. So generally to have this done requires some disassembly like you're seeing here, usually a trip to a service center. And uh, what Ian is doing is opening up this cavity to expose the 12 volt auxiliary battery. But with this car, it's a bit different. This is only going to happen once more because this customer has elected to purchase our battery relocation kit, which will now place that battery or a battery like that in the trunk. What they look like is a battery essentially in an a storage case with a meter on it. So you can see when your battery is beginning to decline. This storage case will be mounted in the trunk. And um, essentially like this. So future battery replacements are going to be fairly simple. All they do is take this latch here, click it open, open the hatch, and Disconnect two of these F2 fast on tabs, take the battery out and put a new one in and close it back up. So a battery replacement now becomes a three minute operation, just the cost of the battery, which is about 40 to $50, and uh, no more $300 service center visits to get that battery replaced. To see one inside a car, you can see that some of the, our customers here have already elected to have this relocation done. There's one car, there's another one, and uh, again it makes it very simple and easy to replace the 12 volt auxiliary battery. Now what we'll do as um, Ian continues to work on it is show you some videos of the panels as they are removed, what's inside and where the, um, the battery is located that's inside that uh, front bumper. Well, we're actually going to bypass the 12-volt um, the battery here and tap in with some of our own wiring and, and wrap it around the, where the wheel well goes here and run it in through frame tubing there all the way to the back of the car. That way you don't have to tear all this stuff apart when you want to change your 12-volt battery. So basically, this little cover here, uh, we drill a hole into it. It gives us access to the main frame tubing that runs below the car. And it runs straight back and pops out the other wheel well. And we just run it through up to the back of the trunk here and into our new location.